Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. My name is Sam George. I'm our Corporate Vice President of Azure IoT at Microsoft. And I am Denis Cabral, leading the Edge Processing Solutions at NXP. Today, we're here to discuss some exciting developments in the collaboration between NXP and Microsoft regarding the integration of Edge and Cloud solutions. For some context, uh, IoT at the moment is really transforming almost every industry on the planet. Uh, what we're seeing is that industries as diverse as buildings, transportation, manufacturing, uh, oil and gas, what have you, are all starting to take advantage of the power of IoT to find out information that's happening in the physical world in real time. And not just to be able to determine that, but then to be able to act on it, to find insights from that data that's being collected and then to perform intelligent action. That's really the power of IoT. And when we at Microsoft think about IoT, it fits into the broader theme of the intelligent cloud and the intelligent edge. And what we really mean by that is that the new compute paradigm isn't that everything's going to the cloud or everything's going to the edge. It's actually that edge cloud work together in harmony to form this new compute platform for solutions that span both. Today, every modern application consists of a smart combination of the edge on the one hand, which it's, which it's uh, zero latency, which is capability to process even if the cloud gets disconnected, but also the cloud processing aspect, which enables fleet management, data aggregation, unlimited storage, unlimited processing. Now, when we discuss that with our customers at NXP, what we, what we see a lot is that our customers are experienced on their specific domains, but they're really getting stretched when it comes to adding the cloud components the connectivity aspect, the security, the provisioning, all that comes with these benefits. It's getting difficult for them. And so that's why between NXP and Microsoft, we've decided to work together to bring an easier solution for our customers. I couldn't agree more. You know, there's so much involved in an IoT solution and customers are really hungry for simplicity. And so what we've been doing is we've been partnering with NXP uh, over some new cloud capabilities that we've introduced over the last couple of years uh, in Azure, in particular, Azure IoT Central which is a, a fully automated, fully managed application platform as a service for connecting to really any type of IoT device on the planet. And it's really intended to be something that helps any scenario in any particular use or any particular vertical, um, take advantage of very large fleets of devices, manage, secure those, find insights from those, as well as control those remotely so that you're no longer ro rolling uh, trucks in order to have to service these things. So the first instantiation of the platform that we are launching today targets electrical vehicle chargers. So this is, again, just an instantiation because the platform is extremely flexible and can target more or less any embedded solution in the market. The solution consists of hardware design, firmware running on the edge, and the cloud platform. Let's take a look at the hardware now. So the hardware consists of four different pieces. The core of the design is an AMX RT crossover processor. The RTs combine the benefits of MCUs with low cost, low power, simplicity of design with a high processing capability that are similar to IMX class application processors. We combine that hardware with a board measuring the power being fed into the electrical vehicle using a Kinetics M measurement processor and then we add a secure element for trust provisioning and an NFC tap and go for simple interaction with the users. So as you think about uh, all of this hardware connecting to the cloud, one of the innovations that we've brought to market is something that we refer to as IoT plug and play. And what IoT plug and play is device metadata that explains all of the different device capabilities, all the telemetry that it sends, the state that it can synchronize, the commands that it can receive, and that's packaged up in a JSON LD schema so that when the device connects to the cloud, it can be truly plug and play. And that IoT Central can then automatically accommodate those devices having never seen them before. Let, let's take a deeper look at the software that's actually running on the hardware. So here is an example of the block diagram of the software that's running there. At the bottom of it is the MCU Express SDK with all the abstraction layer from the hardware. So you don't need to program every register on the microcontroller. On top of that, the Azure RTOS provide all the high level capabilities that are needed in the system. ThreadAx provide a scheduler. We have a GUI, very easy to use GUI user interface. The capabilities for connectivity are all embedded within the Azure RTOS. And then on top of that, NXP provides additional integration that simplifies the design 
and examples here for the EV charger use cases. So that, so that we provide a nice looking GUI, we provide the authentication, the power management, managing the Kinetis M microcontroller, precise measurement for energy, device management, security, and of course, logging all the information. So let's take a look at a quick demo. So what you're looking at is IoT Central over on the left. And what IoT Central enables is complete white labeling and customization. So all of the dashboarding capabilities is all fully customizable. Uh, and when you create one of these applications, you can then uh, duplicate that very easily and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Uh, you can even uh, enable uh, organizational partitioning. So within a company, you could target lots of different use cases uh, for the same application across organizational boundaries. And each one of those different applications uh, has its own users and data and everything like that. And yet you could manage a central application. So this is IoT Central. Now over on the right-hand side, we see some of that NXP hardware. So there's the NXP card uh, with the NFC chip in it. Uh, you see vehicle ID there over in IoT Central has been updated. Now that device has sent a message to IoT Central in the cloud and updated the uh, device twin uh, for the vehicle. And so you saw vehicle ID change. As charging commences and the customer is now charging their car, uh, you see IoT Central start to recognize that the charge status changed, data starts flowing in, you start to see electrical current changing that's being monitored in the charge station. Now, there's many times where it's not just about collecting data, it's about controlling the remote IoT device, which are often headless and don't have a user that's managing them. And so let's take a look at what that looks like in IoT Central. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to properties and I'm in this case, I'm gonna change the power limit on the device um, from 16 amps to 32 amps. And I've hit save and I've refreshed that. Now what's happened is that that then went out to the device and you see here the device has uh, changed its current and has reported back that it's made that change. So all of that, of course, working fully remotely. One of the key benefits of this is that uh, an EV charger infrastructure manager could be able to reduce the power of a certain charging station, for instance, to balance the load. And so as we've seen sometimes, you know, you have overload in the, in the electrical system and you need to yep. dynamically be able to balance that. So that's a key use case for that. Yeah. And of course, this isn't just for a single charging station. This is for managing fleets of millions of these things uh, in, in various geographic locations. And so all of that capability really highlights the power of the cloud and the power of the edge coming together. And I have to say, like the work that our companies have done together just makes things so, so, so much easier for customers. And again, we're just starting with EV charging here, uh, but there's many, many more to come. Yeah, so um, this, this reference design is available right now for you guys to take a look at. So take a look at the link down there. Uh, you can get access to the software. You can order the different boards that, that, that bring this whole system together. And once again, as Sam mentioned, we have a few more coming down the pipe that we'll announce pretty soon. Thank you for listening to us. Thanks so much, everyone.